Would you like to have an interesting or unique Kirby FC if you use sprite animations? If you don't really care about spriting? Of course, you can always commission someone, but if you're, if you're a broke little shit like me, then that's off the table as well. Well, don't worry, this video is made for you. In this video, I'll show you three ways to easily spread a unique Kirby FC while having zero to little spriting experience. The first method is pretty self-explanatory. Simple and easy details. There are a lot of ways to make your Kirby FC stand out while only using small, easy, and easy to sprite details. As you can see with the example on screen, one great thing about this method is that it's probably the easiest of the three to do. It's very easy to make a variety of sprites with it. However, it's also the most limiting. At some point, there are only so many combinations of pixels you can make on a small scale before they start becoming more difficult to sprite. Don't forget that removing pixels is also an option, like how I did with this completely original Cyclops curve. Now for the second method, which will unlock a lot more possibilities, unused Kirby assets. There are two different ways this idea can be used. The first one is taking parts from the Kirby enemies and simply putting them onto your Kirby's FC's bodies instead. As you can see here, I took a Bronto Bird's wings and placed them onto a simple Kirby body. I've also used this method with several other enemies to make FCs to assure you there's potential here. All it takes is knowing how to copy and paste and then recolor a few pixels to get a fairly creative design. Sometimes you'll have to do a bit of cleanup with the outline, but I promise it's nothing you can't handle. If you use this technique with the first one, you can do even more with Kirby sprites. The same goes for the third technique once we get there. One problem you can run into with this method is sprites being too big for your FC's body. When this happens though, if you select the sprite fr from outline to outline and then shrink it down, that will solve the problem perfectly 90% of the time. It can get janky at times, like how the hat started to covering the nub here, but like I said, it shouldn't be anything you can't handle. Although the problems get more noticeable the more you're scaling something down. Before we move on to the final technique, there's still the second way unused Kirby assets can be used. Here we have the Ninja Slash Rock ability, and with a bit of recoloring... With a bit of the first technique in play, all I have to do is recolor a commonly used hat in Presto, a new FC. This method is also really good because you'll usually have a lot of angles of the hat to work with to make a sprite sheet, which is something only some enemies have. Two other examples of this method could be Zarm and Kip, both of which I really like. You can also find some ways to edit the hats. Salty takes the star on the ninja hat and puts it on the bomb cap. It's a small touch, but it goes a long way. As I briefly mentioned earlier, combining techniques can really help bring your character up a notch. Logie does this as well, taking sprites from the tornado ability and putting them on the bomb cap. The only real downside I would say this method has is that a certain hat can lock your character into a certain identity. For example, if you used the fire hat and edited your character, it would have to likely be some type of fire or plasma wielder. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, just a limitation. I won't go into it here, but I just want to say the possibilities of use tenfold when you add helper at season to the mix, in combination with any of these two techniques, or in the next one I'm about to go into. The final technique is pretty similar to the second one, but instead of using uncommonly used Kirby assets, you use assets from other games. This mushroom enemy is from the Legend of Starfy games, and we're just going to take the mushroom and put it onto a Kirby. At first it's too big, but again that's easy to fix. Outline to outline, and then just shrink. With a bit of recoloring and editing of the eyes, I made a sort of shroom Kirby. Let's do another one. This is a character sprite from Card Saga Wars. Normally I would only take some of the hair, but for demonstration purposes I'm going to take all of it. Delete the parts you don't need by getting rid of the main colors and then cleaning up the remains with the eraser. This doesn't look too bad, especially after exposing the arm, but I don't like how big the hair looks on a Kirby body. Luckily, this guy's hair scans are pretty easy to separate segments, so I can cut off the excess with these. One recoloring session later, and we have our very own little anime protag. One problem you can run into with this technique is the style of another game's sprites not matching the Kirby GBA style, although it's partially just style preference. This hair is pushing it a little, but I think it still works, especially with the darkest shade of hair being the same color as the body's outline. As a general rule of thumb, at least, don't try to mix 8-bit or 32-bit with 16-bit. Here are a total of 9 designs I made using all the techniques I talked about in this video. I usually used a combination of one or two techniques, but sometimes I did just use one and still got a design I was happy with. If all goes as planned, there should be even more examples on screen now. I hope this video is able to help anyone who wants to create a roster of unique FCs or even just one without needing to know how to spray. As cheesy as it sounds, the only limit really is your imagination. 
Before I go, I do have one more thing to say. All the designs I've created today have been given away to other people in the community and their designs are off limits. Please don't use these exact same enemies or even the exact face design because you, were, because you would just be copying someone else's character and doing the exact opposite of what this video is intended for. Of course I don't mind if you take a few ass assets or ideas, just try to make them your own somehow. I promise there are more designs possible with assets I didn't use in this video. I truly believe anyone can use these techniques with a bit of knowledge on how to use a digital art program. I really look forward to seeing your designs in the future and thank you for your time.